Uh, hello students and welcome again to my channel. Uh, my name is Mr. Mesha Ngige and welcome to Emas with Ngige. So we're going to check the second example here uh, from my next past paper and it says show that uh, z equals to 2 is a root to the equation z cubed minus 2z squared plus z minus 2 equals to 0. Uh, then 2 you determine the other roots. Now in the previous question that we solved so we showed that uh, one thing that you need to remember is that complex number will always occur in, co uh, in pairs. All right. So if you have a complex number, you must have its conjugate. But now this is a special question because if you look at your, at your complex number Z, it only has a real part right, together. So it only has a what? A real part. So it doesn't have the J part. So we cannot say that since we have z equals to 2 as a root, we also have z equals to negative 2. Because remember, we don't change the value or the sign at the real uh, part position. So therefore, so if this is a z, z is given by the, the real number 2, then we only have one root per se. We cannot find the other root by default, by just comparing the two. So therefore, for us to show that this is a root, we have to divide this root, uh, whatever are uh, the factor here, we shall have to divide this number here so that we can get now the other two roots. So first of all, our division of the factor here with this function here, then we'll show that indeed this is a what? Is a root. So therefore, the solution. So we shall have, uh, remember these are roots. So z equals to 2, that one is a root. So how do we come, uh, how do we return it to factors? We take 2 to the other side. So we shall have z minus 2 is, we say it's a what? It's a, it's a factor, right? Then the, the next step is, since we don't have two uh, factors, then we shall just take the factor itself directly and divide the root. So we shall have z minus 2, then divides z cubed minus 2z squared plus z minus 2. All right? So this is a function without the zero. So therefore, how do we make a, fun a variable here in the first, uh, the first uh, position is z cubed. So how do we make z to be z cubed? We multiply by what? z, z squared. z squared times z gives us z cubed z squared times negative 2z gives us negative 2 a uh, negative 2 gives us negative 2 z squared so there's no other number so again we subtract the 2 All right z uh, cubed minus z cubed 0 negative z minus minus gives us a positive so this minus that again gives us 0 so you drop your what? you drop your z and you drop your minus your negative of 2 so if you check this uh, number here and this number, they're the same. So what do you need to multiply with? You just need to multiply with what? With 1. So 1 times anything just gives you the same number. So 1 times z gives us z. 1 times negative 2 gives us negative 2 equals to 0. So therefore, the fact that this factor has uh, divided this term here, it shows that indeed this one is a what? This one is a is a root without a remainder are you together so it has divided without a remainder so therefore this is um, a root so we have already shown that now for us to get now the other two solutions because remember it is a cubic function and we only had one so we needed two so now we shall take the term z squared then plus one then we equate it to equals to what to zero so we have that so therefore, solving for this, we shall have z squared equals to negative 1. So for us to get z, we divide all through by what? Uh, we get the root of both sides. So the root of negative 1. Now, and what is the root? Because we get the root on this side, we get z, and uh, we get the root on the other side. What is the root of negative 1? The root of negative 1 is given by what? It's given by j. So therefore, we can say your z is given by plus or minus j. So how many solutions do we have here by the end of the day? We have two solutions. Now you can see now in this case here, we can now say that our complex number has occurred in what? In pairs, because we have a positive j and we must also have what? 
a negative of j because it has the complex part in it. So therefore the other roots are z equals to j and z equals to negative j. So your total roots for this equation will be given by z equals to 2 or j or negative j. So these three will give you the values of z. And I think with this uh, you can solve any um, complex equation in this form we are supposed to find the root given one possible root for that particular function. So now in the next class now let us check how do we solve complex equations. How do we find now the roots without being given any root at all. So in this case we have, uh, we have seen equations which have been given a root. Now let's check another one which you have not been given any root but you are required to get the root to that particular equation.